Hello and welcome to Two Car Pros. Today we're going to do a quick little video on how to tell which cylinder is misfiring. So the first way is really easy if you have a more modern vehicle. All you need is an OBD2 scanning device. Plug it into your OBD2 port and turn it on. This will usually identify which cylinder is misfiring, but this is down to what kind of sensors your vehicle is equipped with, how advanced the ECM is. So this is a good place to start, but if it doesn't give you a particular cylinder for a misfire code and just gives you a general misfire code, let's move on to step two. Now this is a surefire way, no matter how old your vehicle is or isn't, is you need an infrared temperature gun and you're going to start the vehicle and within the first couple of moments you're going to point the temperature gun at each exhaust port on the exhaust headers. Now a functioning unit will be right around the 200 degrees mark, but a non-functioning cylinder will be around the 130 degrees mark. I mean, a good rule of thumb is that every cylinder should be right around the same temperature, but a cylinder that is misfiring will be cooler than the others. Once the misfiring cylinder has been identified, remove the spark plug. This will give us a good indication on what went wrong in the cylinder. When a cylinder runs rich, it will carbon foul the spark plug looking like this, and this will cause it to short circuit. Malfunctions for this condition include a partially plugged fuel injector or catalytic converter, low compression, failed fuel pressure regulator, and excessive fuel mixture. Okay, so if you have a wet spark plug with uh, fuel, that could mean that a fuel injector is stuck open, a fuel regulator has failed, or there is no cylinder compression. And if it is wet with oil, this could mean that there's a broken piston oil control ring, a blown head gasket, or excessive leakage from the valve stem seals. If your spark plug is not fouled or wet, go ahead and look at the air gap. You need to have a correctly adjusted air gap to help ensure the operation of the ignition system. This information is found in your owner's manual. And of course, it's always a good idea to double check and make sure you are using the OEM specified spark plugs for your vehicle. If you're using the incorrect spark plugs for your vehicle, that could cause misfiring. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to catch all our future videos. And if you have any questions, please visit twocarpros.com where online automotive experts are standing by ready to help for free. Thanks again, and we'll catch you next time.